Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you. And today, we're going to be talking about how do you create space in your life? How do you create space for connecting by telling your story? How does telling your story, bringing your message, your story forward, create connection? That we can actually lead that connection. In fact, I have found when I have been willing to be open, to speak from my heart, be perfectly imperfect. I don't overly measure what I'm saying, but I really allow myself to speak from my heart and share my message or be vulnerable and share my story. It instantly creates a connection. There's a a power in it. There's an opportunity for us to really come together and connect in real ways when we're willing to share our story. So today we have two amazing guests that are sharing their stories in different ways to help not only create space and connection, but also bring awareness and change. So I know that you're going to be deeply enriched by our time together today. So here are my tips. I encourage you to be fully present, not multitasking, but taking a breath, become really present and open and available to be poured into, open to receive. I encourage you to slow down, take deep breaths. When we do that, it helps us become present. It helps us breathe in that beautiful oxygen that serves and supports and we can breathe out what no longer serves, really creating this space and time for you. Slowing down gives us an opportunity to actually hear ourselves think, (laughs) see what we feel. Creates a space for you actually to listen to that still small voice that can speak within us. Sometimes we're moving so fast or the noise is so loud around us, we drown it out. So slowing down allows you to hear, to be present. It also lowers your cortisol levels which again creates room and space and time for you. So my my biggest tip is to be present, to slow down, to allow this to be a time that we get to come together and pour into you, that you get to be filled up. Trust there is a reason that you connected in today, that there is something here for you. Allow that message to come through. Or maybe it's multiple messages or tips or ideas or a new perspective. Adding an additional way that you can navigate life or you can look at it or it can be supportive of you. So as you're pausing and you're breathing and you're just reflecting on some of those things, I invite you to close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. Take another big, beautiful breath in. Eyes closed. And just see what is it that you need today to encourage you, to support you, to empower you. What do you need today, real time, to help you on your journey? that you are willing to receive because you have choice. So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? In fact, sometimes it helps to put both hands on your heart. Pausing, breathing, becoming present, noticing the heartbeat. And you can even ask your heart, dear heart, (laughs) what is it that I need today? What is it that you need today to support you on your journey? 
and we're identifying. We don't have to identify what we need to do or how we need to do it and all those things. We're just identifying what it is we need and are willing to receive. Beautiful. Let's take another breath. And open up your eyes, become fully present. I'm stretching my arms up and out, creating more room and space as I become fully present. Take a moment to write down what was laid on your heart that you need and are willing to receive. Beautiful. So taking that breath, see what it is that you need and are willing to receive, writing it down, helps you co-create it, bring it forward, bring it into reality. Beautiful. And with that, we're going to go around our virtual room today to see what was laid on our guest's heart when they took a moment to stop, pause, and receive. So, and listen, listen and receive, I should say. So with that, Wendy, I'd love to know what was laid on your heart. Well, you made me think about how I've really needed to stop and just take some moments in the, on this journey I've been on, and a lot of it has been just relying on faith and trust and believing that I'm where I need to be and that everything's going to work out, and as this journey continues, You know, I'm just having that trust and that faith. I love that. So taking those moments and then having that trust and that faith. But it's so hard, so busy sometimes to to take the moments. (laughs) So I love (laughs) that you're choosing to do that and all the busyness. (laughs) It's beautiful. (laughs) Wonderful. How about you, Sophie? What was laid on your heart? Well, it turned in my head quite a lot. And then it came down and my heart said, I want to connect heart to heart. (laughs) And Mm -hmm. sometimes we may think that, you know, time is going on. We are in a rush. We have to do things. We have to accomplish and to prove and, and so on. And at one point, my heart wants to connect to the heart and with the heart of other people. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I love that, that your heart is saying, I want heart to heart connections that we can deeply, authentically, even in all the busyness, um, create that and allow time and room for that. Beautiful. I love it. Well, listeners, how about you? What is it that was laid on your heart as you reflect on what Sophie and Wendy have shared? How is that speaking to you? How is it speaking to your heart? Take these next two minutes. We're going to our commercial break. These next two minutes are for you. It's an opportunity to be present, to perhaps capture a moment, as Wendy shared. Maybe it's to sink in to connect with your heart and really see who is your heart wanting to connect with and really listening to that. Because that's something that then you can work into your day, work into your week, honoring that call of the heart to connect. So enjoy these two minutes, and we'll continue our conversation shortly. Follow Voice America at Facebook.com forward slash Voice America for juicy updates from your favorite radio shows and podcasts. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. 
Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and perhaps got a surprise or a message from your heart sharing who it wanted to connect with or how it wanted to connect. Perhaps it was reminding you of a a moment, a special moment to capture and to cherish. We have built these two-minute breaks, commercial breaks, throughout the show. We've built them into the show on purpose to give you an opportunity to process what's being shared, to integrate it. So it doesn't just become something on your to-do list, but it's actually something that you're able to start to be and breathe and integrate on a cellular level during the show. So it becomes part of you. So that as you step back out into the world, you already have taken in deeply those things that serve you and support you. Well, we are continuing our conversation about creating space for connection by telling your story. I'm excited to introduce our first guest, Sophie Ramirez. She is a number one international bestselling author, joining us all the way from the French Alps, the scenic, I should say scenic, beautiful French Alps. She Mm -hmm. is a practitioner who channels words to evoke emotion and guide healing through meditation, hypnosis, and family constellations. She's passionate about helping you voice your soul. Please lean in and warmly welcome the heartfelt, dynamic, and powerful Sophie Romias. Welcome! (laughs) Thank you, Rebecca. I love your cheerful smile. Thank you so much. (laughs) You are so welcome. I'm just thrilled to have you joining us. You always lift my heart and spirit whenever we have that opportunity to connect. So excited to, to share you with all our listeners today. And I wanted to start the conversation on kind of a bigger picture. We're excited to talk about your book in just a moment, but I wanted to start with why. Why is this work that you do of helping people voice their souls to help them heal? Why is that work so important to you personally? Mm. Thank you for asking me this question. Um, I feel that sometimes it's not easy to really voice our own soul, our own heart, because I realized uh, later on on my um, journey of personal development that we are very much influenced by our family story. Uh, Because in the very beginning, we are 100% love people, and so we love our family, we want to belong to our family, so um, we have loyalties to people, to our people, and sometimes we may feel that we live our own life, we speak our own truth, but sometimes it's not the case, sometimes it's maybe by loyalty for someone, uh, we may live a part of the life they wanted us to live, or they wanted themselves 
to live. Mm. So part of my journey is um, helping people um, to discover if they voice their own soul or maybe by love voicing the soul of other people and how to be clear about it. And uh, so then they can really choose uh, in consciousness uh, to feel what they have to feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it because it can get entangled. You know, and we can lose our voice along the way and not even know it. And I love that you help people um, figure out <laughs> what is their voice and and really be able to stand for it and to add their voice, their gifts to the world. It's just such powerful and beautiful work. So thank you for all that you do, Sophie. And I know one of the ways that you also are healing and touching hearts and lives is through the written word. And you have been part of a couple of really powerful poetry projects. And you have also led a very successful anthology you released a couple years ago, and you're getting ready to release your next. And I'd love for you to share a little bit about one, what an anthology is for, for people that that's new to, and a little bit about this one that is coming out in October. Mm. Yes. So thanks to you, Rebecca, because you have been a wonderful teacher about anthologies, how we build anthologies. So to me, probably the simplest way I would say is that we bring uh, different voices, different people who want to uh, speak uh, together and individually about a topic and that it will bring uh, a beautiful patchwork of maybe understanding, comprehension about the topic itself, and because everybody has a different background, a different culture, um, different ideas, different opinions, different experiences. So an ontology is a multiplied uh, power of bringing a story, a topic to life for the readers. Mm -hmm. I, I love it. I love how they bring together multiple authors, each writing, you're right, in their voice, their way, um, and, and their experience, their culture, what they have, um, that their journey has been, and bringing that rich diversity to one book under con subject is is so powerful. And I love that you are, are choosing to bring another one forward, and it's under a similar subject. So do you mind sharing a little bit the title of this anthology and a little bit of what it's about and what you're really hoping that it does in the world. Yes, thanks. So I have a, a, a topic, a subject which is more than a topic, by the way. This is a challenge of life, very dear to me to uh, contribute, to support the people who uh, live through this. This is about breast cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are many people uh, who are, many families who have to uh, deal with this uh, ordeal of life. And so I had um, the chance to understand, I will may speak about it a little bit later in the interview, why I'm writing about it and helping people to write about it. So, but it made complete sense to me to write with people about it because I realized when someone has such an illness, it can be, by the way, any kind of illness, sometimes we don't know how to speak with the people who have it, or we don't know how to listen or how to help. We don't know what to do. And so because I was myself uh, in the shoes of not knowing what to do, what to say, what to feel with people who had to leave it. So I decided to um, voice with other people what they really live when they have to go through this ordeal of life. And then we can really understand what is going on for them. And mm -hmm. so this is what we did in the first anthology that we published with you in 2021, a mm -hmm. French one with 12 amazing, beautiful co-authors, young ladies. And so the adventure, the journey was great uh, to write this book all together and individually because they all had their own voice with their own story in their own chapter. And so this book became an, an international um, bestseller and mm -hmm. you are really much part of it uh, with your team. I want to thank you again for that and acknowledge that. 
and we decided to make another adventure with people this year, a book that will be released on October 20, uh, seven, October 17 this year. Mm -hmm. And the book title is I Walked That Path Too. Mm -hmm. So it is a book about breast cancer to help uh, people to understand what is going on uh, in this moment of time when families, individual uh, ladies, some men also have breast cancer, 1% of the male population. So this is an intimate book. It's like an intimate conversation each co-author have with a reader. Yeah. I I love it. And this, I walk this path too, you know, really opening up their hearts, their lives and their journey to share it in the world and to trust them with it. And I think one, it's going to help people not uh, to know they're not alone. And also I love that it brings that awareness and opportunity for us to know how to talk about some of these things, to walk beside each other and to support one another. And we're so excited. It's coming out on October 17th. We're going to be helping share it out. And listeners, I encourage you to Mark that on the calendar. There will be a special rate of $1.99 for the first 24 hours. So you do want to watch that. And I know we have an international audience. And so when we're saying October 17th, we do mean U.S. time. So I know that can be different dates in different parts of the world uh, just for, for our international followers. And um, I love what Sophie's created and bringing forward. And I know it's something that will touch your heart. And I'm just curious, you know, Sophie, if you could describe the cover so people kind of know what to look for and what's something really special that you hope happens as people get their hands on this book and start to read it and have it pour into them. Mm. Oh yeah. So the book cover is uh, is taking the symbol of a feather. So this is like the pink ribbon, but mm -hmm. it's made with two feathers. So that will that allows us to feel that even if this ordeal of life, breast cancer is not nice. Breast cancer is not soft. It's uh, everything except it's not softness. It's not it's not easy. So um, we wanted to bring this softness. And also, you know, de determination, these people want to heal, they want to be able to stay with their family. And so in the meantime, what the world, what the universe can also bring is to bring the softness around the people who need to heal about it. Mm -hmm. So the cover is a mix between the pink ribbon made with softness mm -hmm. and uh, the title in the first page of a book. We don't speak about breast cancer. We speak about it in the back cover of a book. So then we can already have an idea of um, the topic, but when we need to turn on the book uh, to read about all the amazing co-authors, 14 co-authors, and uh, we had ladies who had to deal with breast cancer. We also had some therapists who bring their voice uh, to uh, the healing uh, they need. We also have a young lady, she's so cute, her own mom had to overcome breast cancer, and she's sharing with us uh, mm -hmm. how she lived this moment in the family life. And we also have a poet, a poet of a soul, who is uh, bringing his poems to support um, uh, the people, the ladies, and uh, and the families who have to uh, deal and help and support uh, breast cancer survivors. Mm, beautiful. I love the the rich mixture that you have brought forward. And I just want to thank you so much for sharing today. I know when it's getting close to the book coming out, it's an especially busy time. <laughs> so thank you for <laughs> taking time and this moment with us. And is there any final thought that you want to share as we get ready to go to our next commercial break? So yeah, we really dedicate the book uh, to the reader, the reader who may be facing the challenge of breast cancer or someone who may be caring for someone who uh, has to uh, face this challenge. We want people to know that we care too. Uh, we are here um, with them. Um, there are many amazing associations uh, who now, for many years, are helping people to deal with this um, uh, ordeal of life. 
Um, so this book, it can be on a family table or a friend table or in an association or maybe a waiting room, you know, where people are waiting for the next care. Or um, it can also be in a library. We we began it with the intention of uniting our voices to enhance, to enhance our understanding of the challenges presented by breast cancer. Mm-hmm. Thank you for sharing. And I love that coming together to unite our voices and that you're taking a stand in a united way for those who are struggling with that and their families and are facing it, that they're not alone and that I hope they do feel the amazing support that you have created in this powerful book. So thank you so much for sharing, Sophie. We're excited about it coming out on October 17th, just in case anyone missed that. And as we go to our next commercial break, I really want you to think about some of what Sophie has shared and what is speaking to your heart, to your spirit. What is something you can bring forward and share? What is something that you feel called and compelled to stand for and to help unite voices on to bring them forward? We'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Birdie told me Voice America is on Twitter. Follow us at Voice America TRN. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes. They really took an opportunity to listen to your heart, to see what is speaking to you. In fact, I encourage you to go back to the top of where we started, the top of your page, and really see what was laid on your heart that you need and are willing to receive. It's good to just kind of reconnect with that and be listening for that and holding that as we continue our conversation about creating space for connection by telling your story, how powerful that can be. 
I'm excited to introduce our next guest. I know you'll enjoy her her perspective, her sense of humor, her way of looking at things. I know I'm always moved and uh, many of our conversations we are laughing and sharing and I just really treasure that and I'm excited to share our beautiful Wendy with you. I know you're going to enjoy her as well as be touched by what she is sharing and bringing forward. So it is my privilege to introduce Wendy Hooten. She's a number one international best-selling author, Down syndrome advocate, and speaker. She has 18 years experience volunteering in the community. And through healing, hope, and humor, Wendy shares her story of her son's unexpected diagnosis of Down syndrome. In her upcoming book, she shares that journey and how she went from shock to joy on the journey. And it's one that I know will deeply impact you. She is passionate about showcasing the value of those who are differently abled. Please lean in. Warmly welcome the powerful, artistic, creative, and dynamic Wendy Hooten to the show. Welcome. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. I I say this every time to you. I don't know how I can live up to that whole introduction. <laughs> it doesn't feel like me. <laughs> oh, it is you. And I'm always happy to share it. <laughs> uh, but I'm but I'm excited to have you back. You feel you're one of our frequent flyers now. <laughs> so it's wonderful to, well, I to love have you the opportunity, me. any opportunity to talk with you like and, and laugh uh-huh. with you. I love it. I love it. Well, I'm excited to share you with with all of our listeners today. And and I feel the same. I always enjoy it and enriched by it. And I wanted to start our conversation. Why is this work of bringing awareness of the value of those who are differently abled? Why does that work and sharing your story? Why is that so important to you personally? Well, Mostly because I'm living it and I see how my son has changed me and how he affects others that he meets and, and, and what he's done um, to change the lives of those he comes in contact with. So it's mostly because I just feel passionate about, you know, these individuals have so much value and we just all need to... Um, welcome them into our world and allow them to show what they're capable of and to Mm. um, encourage, you know, the inclusion and, and having them in our world. Beautiful. I love it. Well, thank you for sharing. And I love that it's been such a, a rich journey for you and that you are leaning into sharing that with others. So can you share a little bit about your book? What is the title? What does the cover look like? And, and what is something that you hope is really gained um, that the reader discovers in leaning into adding your book to their library and reading it? Well, the title of my book is Big People Don't Pee in the Park. I love Mm -hmm. saying that. My son loves saying it. Uh, It's a journey about, it's a story about a mother-son's journey with Down syndrome. And as I was writing the book and been on this journey, I realized that, of course, there's a chapter in the book, you know, called Big People Don't Pee in the Park. But I realized that, you know, my journey has been about navigating through a lot of the don'ts. You know, like, don't compare, don't give up, um, don't let anyone get the best of you, don't spend too much time worrying, you know, don't forget to celebrate, don't forget to breathe. There's there's so many great don'ts that go with the title of my book. Um, but I'm just proud of it. I'm proud of how it's all come together. It looks beautiful. My, my cover is colorful because I'm into color and, and I you know, maybe credit my son to giving my life a a world of color. Um, But it's very colorful. It's very nice. It's beautiful. And I'm just excited to share my story, mostly because I feel like I have a journey, a fun journey to share, you know, with anyone who may be struggling with that diagnosis like I was. And I want any new parents 
to understand that, you know, they're in for a world of joy. Mm. I love that. I'm just sitting here smiling <laughs> as <laughs> as you share that. And what a word of encouragement and hope for um, parents out there that might be struggling with that, that diagnosis and um, wondering. And I know that it was a struggle for you when you first got that diagnosis and some of that journey is shared in, in your book. And I've had the opportunity to read an advanced copy of your book and I was moved. I laughed. I was touched. It was, it was a whole range of emotions and you have beautiful pictures <laughs> shared within it as well. And some of the stories stories and the shares, I just carry with me. And so I know that they just have touch hearts um, so deeply and beautifully. So I'm excited for it coming to the world. And one thing you didn't mention about the color, the cover, it has beautiful colors, but what else is on the cover? <laughs> the, the picture? <laughs> there's there's a, a cute picture. I love this picture of me and my son. He was about three or four. And we were just up in the mountains one day and somebody just captured this picture and he's just got this expression on his face that just shows pure joy. And when I look at that expression on his face, I think about our entire life together. It's Hmm. he just he smiles like that every day for the most part. Um, I mean, we do have our days. He's he's (laughs) a person like the rest of us. So we do have our days. But he just radiates the joy that is in that picture. I love it. Thank you. I didn't want anyone to miss out (laughs) on (laughs) on that beautiful picture because I know it was very deliberate um, and and purposeful that that you selected that one and put it on the cover along with all the the colors and that that joyful energy. So thank you for for sharing. Um, And that'll help people identify it when it comes out. So speaking of that, when when is it coming out? What date did we mark on our calendar? Um, I'm excited to say it is coming out on October 3rd, and I did not ever think I would be able to be able to say that. It's just Mm. so surreal. I can't believe my book is written, and it's about to be um, available to anybody who needs my story on October 3rd. Did I say that? October 3rd. (laughs) <laughs> underlined <laughs> explanation <more> <laughs> point. <laughs> yeah, one more time. Say it again. <laughs> October 3rd, everybody. October 3rd. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, no, we're very, very excited. And I know the first 24 hours, it'll have that special rate of $1.99. So a wonderful opportunity to lean in and get this book in its, its digital form. And then I know the, the other formats of it will be released shortly after. But you definitely... Um, want to lean into that special opportunity. We're going to be posting and sharing it out on the day of launch, which everyone I know has, but I want to make sure October 3rd, and we're very excited. So it's a very (laughs) full month this October of rich opportunities for us to lean into some dynamic resources. So very, very excited about that. And I love your cover and I love the images and what you are bringing forward in the book. And there is that consistent message of joy and hope and inspiration that I find woven throughout your book. So I am curious as you have gone on the journey and now the launch is just around the corner. What are you hoping happens? What are you hoping um, happens as that book comes out, as readers start to read it? What do you hope they discover and what do you hope um, the book contributes and does in the world? Well, initially, my intent in writing the book was to hopefully help new parents, and I do hope that happens, but my my vision has gotten much larger. I mm-hmm. hope that this book helps anyone who may um, be, you know, in the life of somebody with special needs, you know, that they will see the value um, of those or even people who are not around people with special needs. But I hope this turns around any thoughts and people will um, see that value and and that, you know, maybe people will um, realize those who are differently abled are a reminder that we need to slow down and enjoy life, you know. Mm. Um, I I hope that that's 
there's, I have so many hopes about my book, to be honest with you, since I've gone through the whole process. It, it, it's gone from helping new parents to changing people's vision on, on those who are differently abled and mm. to, you know, maybe stopping and looking at their own lives and, and seeing, you know, how, how they can be affected and benefit from being around people who are differently abled. I love, I love how it's expanded and grown and shifted. And, and I'm curious, what, for those uh, who are not familiar with your story, what is your son's name? His name is Matt. Well, and today. what are, <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> he changes his name. <laughs> <laughs> most, most days though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what are, what are his thoughts? Is he excited about the book? What, is, what are, what is he hoping happens? Just curious. Oh my gosh. I think because now he's seen a visual, it's all sinking in why mom has been locked up in her office. I have shared the stories with him. Um, sometimes he looks at me like, oh, mom, you're telling people I stole something. But then I have to just turn around and, and reiterate that, hey, we're trying to help show that you just live a life like the rest of us have lived, Matt. You know, mm-hmm. he's, he's excited to see all the pictures. He loves the cover. And anytime we go anywhere, he will now say, Hey, we have a book come out, you know, and <laughs> big people don't pee in the park. <laughs> so he's super excited. <laughs> I love it. I love that he's excited and, and sharing it out and um, getting getting to be part of that. Well, I I just I'm so excited for you and as and I know it's just just around the corner, so this is an especially busy time. Thank you for for carving out time for us today and. I'd love for you to share. Is there any final thoughts that you have as you're reflecting on our conversation that you want to share with our listeners today? You know, the biggest thing that's on my heart is just um, to stop and enjoy life, you know, to um, try to be a little more patient and a little more kind and a little more forgiving and more compassionate and loving unconditionally and, and appreciating our own abilities. Um, that I just, you know, I just want people to, you know, try and live through those, the eyes of somebody who has special needs. They just are pure joy. Mm. I love it. We get a little, we get a little, you know, caught up in the world today. And so sometimes just that's what's needed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Taking that moment and looking at the world a little bit differently and choosing to, and, and I love that, that choosing joy and, and seeing life and world from that perspective. It's beautiful. Thank you. Well, thank you. Absolutely. And listeners, uh, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do so, I want you to think about some of what Wendy has shared and see what's being laid on your heart. Absolutely put that October 3rd date on your calendar. I don't want anyone missing out. The two dates we have today are October 3rd and the 17th. (laughs) So I want to make sure everyone remembers those dates. And as you enjoy these two minutes, really let the wisdom and the insights and the words and the things that have touched your heart sink in. Give yourself an opportunity to listen deeply and we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Voice America is on your favorite smart speaker. If you have Alexa or Google Home, go ahead and give us a try. Hey Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast on TuneIn. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You need to live up to your full potential. You've heard that for years, but now there's a channel to help you get there. 
Introducing the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Our listeners have told us that they want to be motivated, hear about success stories, and positive encouragement around the clock. And we've responded to you. The Voice America Empowerment Channel is the home of the world's top life coaches, entrepreneurs, and success experts. Listen to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's here at VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Find out what makes the most successful people tick. Keep listening to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you wrote down some great things that are speaking to your heart, to your spirit, that you've written down the two dates in October we've talked about (laughs) so that you can lean in and and see if um, these books are supportive of you and and we'd love your support in sharing them out. So again, that's October 3rd for Wendy's beautiful book and October 17th for Sophie's powerful anthology. So things and dates to be watching for and you heard it here first, so you're in the know. And speaking of things to support you on your journey, I also wanted to make you aware of some resources that we have. So for one, for those of you who are being called to really speak your message, to bring it forward, to reach as many people as possible, I want to let you know about the Speaker Talent Search. This is part of our give back where we help speakers reach more people, get on more shows and platforms, including possibly being a guest on our show. So check Check it out, speakertalentsearch.com. We have several years. The next one coming is coming up in March, but you can absolutely apply now um, so that you are in the process. Secondly, for those of you who are called to write your story, to write your message and bring it forward, I want to make you aware of the Emerging Author Series, and you can find it at Emerging Author series with an S dot com. And you'll find multiple books there. They're all about a chapter in length. They're ebooks that you can download as our gift to you. And they talk about frequently asked questions that we get from authors or people who are wanting to bring their book forward and what, you know, do I need to publish or what are my options? I have an idea now what? How do you start to get it into a framework so that you can bring it forward? Or you're ready to bring it forward. Do you do you launch it? What is this best selling stuff? Like you have an opportunity, all the frequently asked questions, myths and truths that we um, have been able to bring forward and really help people on in the publishing space. So check it out. It's our gift to you, emerging author series. Dot com, And with that, we're going to go around the room and I'll have each of our guests share their contact information. I invite you to write it down so that you have a way to connect and go deeper. That's part of why we have you share and have our guests share because we want you to be able to have the same type of access that, that I do so that you can really have their support on your journey. So with that, Sophie, what's the best way for people to connect and go deeper? Yes, so we have we are creating a website for the book. So the website title is pinkandunited.org. Mm-hmm. So that will be the way to be able to connect with us, to connect with all the co-authors, because this is a, a book with 14 co-authors. Beautiful, beautiful. And if they want to follow you, is and, there a way they can? Uh, so my mm-hmm. website is my name, sophiebrumeas.com. 
Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. And can you share one more time the launch date of your book and the title so everyone has it for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so the book title is I Walked That Path Too, and uh, the book will be released on October 17th, so started uh, between the United States and France, and we also have people in the book from Switzerland and from Canada, so we look forward to extend our gratefulness and our solidarity to everybody around. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing, joining us today, and bringing your powerful book forward. We can't wait to see it out in the world. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. Absolutely. And Wendy, I'd love for you to share what is the best way for us to connect, to go deeper. And um, also, I'd love for you just to remind us, I know we said the date a few times, but I want to make sure everyone has the date and title. <laughs> Okay, so the best way to connect with me is my website, which is Wendy L. Hooten. That's H-O-O-T-O-N dot com. And on my site, I have some Down syndrome information. I have information on my book, and I have some um, tips that I have put together, you know, just that I've kept as I've been raising my son on things I wish I would have known. So just tips mm -hmm. from my mom. And then in case you've forgotten or didn't hear me, uh, my book is coming out on October 3rd, and it's mm -hmm. called Big People Don't Pee in the Park, A Mother and Son's Journey with Down Syndrome. And I worked hard to get this ready for October 3rd because October is actually Down Syndrome Awareness Month. Beautiful. Well, thank you for sharing. We are so excited for you and your book and for Matt in, in bringing this forward and sharing it with the world on October 3rd. And I love that you're bringing out in October and really um, enhancing the Down syndrome awareness. So that's that's so powerful. Um, and I know that, um, Sophie, you're also harnessing the, the cancer awareness. So October is a very busy, <laughs> powerful, full mm -hmm. month. Um that I love how both of you are are bringing your books very strategically forward in that to support and um, continue to enhance that message out there. Well, we have just a couple minutes and I thought we could do a speed round of a final tip or thought that we can share with our listeners as they get ready to go back to their day. So with that, Sophie, do you have a final thought you'd like to share with our listeners? Oh, well, yes, what is coming right now is that um, love, uh, sickness, healing, healing, they have no border, they don't know any border. And so it is also for solidarity. And I feel that when we can feel from people the solidarity, the want for comprehension, for compassion, um, it will be a, a better place um, to be able to heal. So many people need it. And, and so I really believe that uh, our world uh, future is uh, somewhere between individual and collective consciousness. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you so much for having me here. And I look forward to discover the book of Wendy too. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. I, I love that. And there there's no borders. We can all come together and bring that solidarity forward. I love it. I love it. Wendy, how about you? Do you have a quick final thought? Yeah, I just want to say that, you know, when my son, when, when people come up to my son and start talking to him, I see his demeanor change instantly. And mm -hmm. so he, I can tell that he just feels valued and important. So I would just encourage you that if you run into anybody who may have special needs, um, I would just encourage you to, you know, take a moment to say hi. I know it may be intimidating because you may not you know, know how to act around somebody or, you know, it can, it can, I get it. I've been there. So, but I would just encourage you to take a moment to say hello. And, and I promise you, you'll walk away feeling like a different person. Uh, you'll be mm. inspired when you have an opportunity to um, spark up a conversation with somebody who has special needs, Down syndrome, Wonderful. anything. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. I love that. Um, 
reminder and and that we have those opportunities that we can lean into and um, how positive an experience it can be. So thank you so much, Wendy. I appreciate it. And listeners, thank you for joining us today. And I hope that you took some great notes, that your heart and spirit were touched, that you are feeling a little bit of a spark to create some space for deeper connection and to start sharing your story or sharing another part of you a little bit more. When we do that, it makes the world a better place because the biggest gift you can give the world is more of you. So be willing to bloom where you're planted and shine. Have an amazing week, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel, with a replay on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific on the Voice America Variety Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.